Okay, guys. Uh, so I hope you can see this particular screen. Uh, this is the entire thing. Okay, so the entire code that we did, everything is here. I uh, will share this particular thing with you. If you want, you can remove these things because it, these doesn't need to be here. Uh, but there are a lot of tweaks that you can make to this particular code. So we'll just uh, run this particular thing and show you how it looks. And uh, after that, you can make changes and all those things. Let me just run this. Uh, one second. Take a second to load. And the game has appeared. So this is the game. Okay. So let me show you. Let's press space. Game has started. Okay. So if you can see the length and the size, everything is increasing. Now just uh, try to see. I will uh, keep it close to the leaf. But if you see closely, it will not actually uh, eat the leaf as in the games that you might have played. Okay. And let me just meet. Yeah. Okay. So the screen is over. Right. So game over. Finished. Okay. So this is the game. Uh, how it looks. The code is exactly how uh, things are. You can give a title to this particular game that will come in the title bar. Uh, these are the things. So on screen. Uh, space game starts all these key you keep listening okay so all these things are here uh, i hope you all enjoy this particular code try to open it if you don't know just keep the file open your own uh, random screen open if you have downloaded it, just choose that particular file and you will be able to run this particular code once okay if you have any problem else you can make the tweaks and changes it's always there uh, I hope you all enjoy this particular video and in the next video we will learn making a uh, egg catcher game. Okay, so that will be the second game uh, for this particular week and that would be all for the gaming projects. Uh, we'll try to add some more videos if people require that but I think that is enough for you to understand the basic crux of gaming. Uh, in the next week we will move on to either machine learning or GUI projects and something like that. Okay, okay guys, thank you.